everything all right for like 10 minutes straight and I can't seem to do it so this is gonna have to do. I'm also not quite sure if I really suit grey. Does it kind of wash me out? Anyway. Maybe this is why favourites videos ended <laughs> and just sit down videos in general because it's so awkward sitting down and trying to do an intro. I'm not used to it. I'm a vlogger. Picking up my camera to vlog. Piece of cake. Setting it up to film like a sit down video. I feel like I'm being interviewed. <laughs> a few vlogs ago, I mentioned the fact that I missed old YouTube. I feel like it was more simple, more fun. I don't know. There was just something about old school YouTube that maybe it's because I like grew up with it. I just feel like there's something so comforting about these kind of videos where you just kind of sit down and chat. So whether you're sitting down and relaxing, whether you're getting ready for the day, doing some cleaning, I hope you love this video. My thought process is because personally my favorite types of videos are vlogs. And I feel like a lot of people probably agree. So I kind of wanted to make this like a favorites video, but also a fun little vlog as well. So that's why I vlogged this morning. Probably continue vlogging a little bit this week too. So without further ado let's get into my favorites i kind of would love to start doing them every month or every two months but these have been my favorites that have probably been accumulating for the past i don't know a few months so there's a bunch of miscellaneous things food makeup books fashion homewares we've got it all so i'm very excited i don't know what to start with i might start with fashion because that's kind of fun right i feel like a lot of you probably guess this would be my favorites this is my first Jerf purchase. I think it's called just the Berries Robe. It's basically just like towel material and it's got the cutest berry design on it. This is one of those things where if you're wearing it, you can't help but feel wholesome. <laughs> when I walk around the house and I catch myself in this, I can't help but smile. It sold out so quickly, but I managed to score one. I think they are restocking too, so I'll try and link it below. I'll try and link all of the products that I talk about below if you do want to check any of them out. It's just so sweet. And in every photo, in every video, it just makes things like look aesthetic <laughs> next fashion piece accessory is my black commerce now these are obviously very old i've had them for a while they're kind of dirty and need a wash oh. hi you just gonna make yourself the main character cool thanks this is the biggest difference between harvey and odie odie just likes to go chill he'll just kind of chill by himself all day harvey just like needs to be on you next to you chewing something next to you you're the needy one aren't you all right you can just sit there so black converse i feel like i go in phases of forgetting about them and whenever i remember them and put them on i just feel like they make every outfit cool even with active wear with jeans they're just classics and i just feel like everyone oh needs a pair of converse in their life whatever whatever color it is but the black i just can't really fault them they're just fun but classic i just feel like they'll probably never go out of style because they've just been around for so long and they are such classics they just kind of make most outfits just a bit of a mood so that's all i have to say about them it's been so incredibly cold here recently to the point where like i just feel angry about it <laughs> you know when you just can't you just can't get warm like your hands are frozen you feel like you can't even like be productive because you're so cold and i know people from other countries are probably gonna laugh at me and probably gonna make fun of me for saying that which like fair fair but i swear this has been the coldest winter we have had in years here in australia it's been like 10 degrees tops in a day which again i know some people are gonna be like you're a freak <laughs> for thinking that's cold but it just is. My house gets really great morning sun and then gets so cold during the day and our heaters are broken. It's been really hard. <laughs> I know they're all such first world problems, but puffers have been absolutely obsessed with. I just think they look so classy, but also like low key picking up the kids from school vibes, but also kind of cute. I've literally been living in it. This one's from Gymshark. I've been, do you know what? I'm gonna put it on. It is so comfortable, just perfect. I've got a size medium. <laughs> Like, yeah, could you get a more perfect puffer? I don't think so. I actually don't think so. It's so cozy and comfortable and going on walks when it's windy. I'm actually warm. So I really couldn't recommend this anymore. And that's all on that. I think I'll go into homeware. I love mugs <laughs> to start off with, but just ceramics in general, I think are just so special. And I love having a cup of tea. I love having a cup of coffee. And if you've got it in a cute, beautiful mug, it just makes the experience so much better. This one was actually recently gifted to me for my birthday. I've got a set of two and it looks so cute like in your mug cupboard too. Whenever I open up, it just makes me so happy. These are from Made by C. I'm pretty sure it's just on Etsy she sells it and I think she's Australian too. Okay, I, I do have to talk about this because I just... I, I 
don't go a day without it. It makes sense because I wouldn't bring out a product that I'm not obsessed with and that isn't my favourite. So if you aren't aware, my brand Future You Store sells these one litre stainless steel water bottles in this matte white. It is genuinely just the best. When it comes to water bottles, I would say I'm a snob. Obviously the straw, the sippy top is a must and the suction, perfect, clean, no bubbles, it'll keep your drinks cold for 24 hours and hot for 12 hours. And I can't tell you the amount of times that I've been to the beach that I've left this in the car all day and the water is still cold. There is nothing better than like you getting into a hot car or like you being at the beach and drinking cold water from your water bottle. If I haven't convinced you yet, let this be a sign to get yourself a water bottle. I also just feel it's for your health, so it's an investment. Like you're not even really spending money. The reason it's one liter two is because I always like to set myself like a two to three liter water goal every day. So it's so satisfying in my mind to tick like you finish one, one liter done, two, two liters done. You know, it also says very faintly, which I wanted because I didn't want it to be too in your face. Today is your day one, whatever that means for you. That's all I have to say. Next, we have some headphones. These are the JBL ones. I'll, again, link everything I talk about, but I'll link these exact ones below. They make me so much more productive. Blocking out the world. <laughs> They're so noise cancelling. They even, my voice sounds so weird. Blocking out the world and being able to go on a walk at the gym. You can't hear the gym music or anyone around you. Cleaning. I feel like they make you feel like you're in a movie because it just cancels out the rest of the world. And I love these. I can't fault them. Cute, I like the white. Wireless, they actually just ran out of charge, but I've had them literally for months and never charged them once. Great battery life as well. They fold like this. Also, walking with these, you actually, obviously, you've got to be careful. I always kind of like almost put one half off my ear when I'm walking just so I can like still hear my surroundings a bit more. But walking with these literally makes you feel like you're a supermodel. <laughs> I wouldn't want to see what I look like to the outside world, but I feel like I'm walking on a catwalk. So books. I have recently been really just entering my Colleen Hoover phase, which I feel like most of the world is doing right now. I've read quite a few of her books so far, and I want to talk about my two favorites. That have stood out the most for me if you do want to get back into reading or do want to start your Colleen Hoover journey because it, it truly is a journey it ends with us this I read so quickly and probably probably like a day I think I truly could not think about anything else just I couldn't put it down it why does it sound like there's someone in my house right now it is heartbreaking but I feel like the storyline is so good and I Oh, this like I wish I could read it again for the first time. I love it And I think it also has a very good message behind it as well And then my second favorite book from her which I can't for the life of me find is Verity So this is a romance Verity is like a little bit of a romance, but also thriller started it at night woke up the next day finished it by breakfast You need to know more that entire time and it's it's hectic. It's like kind of brutal <laughs> but so such a good storyline and such a good book. Those are my two favorites so far that I've read from Colleen Hoover. I also did love November 9. I'm just going to say this one because it is Harvey. I also love these shoes. These are Asics. I don't actually know what they're called. I can link them below. But they're like the platform Asics. I love them. Anyway, this is so <laughs> random and probably to a lot of you kind of disgusting. But recently I've been obsessed with cucumbers. Not to be mistaken with gherkins, which... I'm a bit confused actually because these are just called Cucumbers Baby and they're obviously in the like vinegary water. And I just thought that, oh weird, they haven't called them gherkins. Anyway, I buy gherkins from the store the other day and I try one and it literally tastes disgusting. So I'm not sure what the difference is because they're both cucumbers. Is it what they're in? This brand specifically is the only one I've tried and I kid you not, I probably go through a jar every couple of days. I'm not sure if it's healthy at this point. But they are so good. I just open them up if I ever want like something to snack on. Get a fork. So good. I kind of feel like majority don't like things like this. But I just had to include because I'm obsessed. Next we're going to go into some makeup. I've got a few makeup favorites. Which I'll run through relatively quickly because I feel like it's kind of boring. Mascara. I often get quite a few questions about this. The Hourglass. Is it Hourglass Caution? Love it. I used to use the Marc Jacobs black and yellow striped one but they discontinued it, which is so sad. As you can see, it creates super long, wispy eyelashes. So I've used this for years now, and whenever I wear it, I get either compliments on it or questions about where it's from. This is a lip liner that I use every single day. When I'm putting makeup on, I've got it on right now. I have never been able to find a lipstick that matches this lip color. So I like line my lips and then I fill them in with it. So this is what I wear 
all over my lips. If anyone has any lipstick recommendations that is as good as this or this same color, please let me know because I would love it because I feel like I do just like really go through so many of these because I'm putting it over my entire lip. It is the Lip Heroes Nude For You Lip Liner. I just feel like it's so natural. Just a really nice color. So I recommend. I actually worked with them years ago and that's how I found out about it and I have continued buying it myself since. Next is this Lust Minerals. I think it's called an illuminating liquid illuminate. If you can see that kind of like glow, I want to say, on my cheek. This is it. This just creates such a glowy look. I've seen some people put it underneath their foundation for like a really like overall glowy look, which I actually haven't tried, but I usually just put a little bit on my fingers and kind of like dab it along here, along here. I use it instead of highlighter, but I feel like it doesn't make you like super shiny. It just kind of adds a little bit of glow. I think I've never gotten so many questions about one product in my entire life, which I get, I get because it's, it creates results. My lash serum, I started using this probably about a year ago today. It's called INV. I bought it off eBay, which I think like is low-key kind of sketchy, but you normally can just get it in like beauty salons. This changed the game for my lashes. You have to use it for three months every single day. And I feel like when I first used it, I didn't start seeing results for probably like two and a half months. And then all of a sudden your lashes are just so long. This lip balm will change your life. And I don't say that lightly. Maddie actually got me onto this because I think her dermatologist got her onto it. I just get it from Chemist Warehouse. I'm pretty sure they probably sell it at heat, heat places though. But it's dermal therapy. I love the flavor berry personally, but you can get unflavored too. It just keeps your lips so hydrated. <laughs> it says for severely dry and chapter lips, so it works. Whew, I feel like I've been talking for years. For perfume, this one, I just got it at Mecca. It's the brand Soul. I can link it below. It literally smells like an almond croissant. So many people mention this when I wear it. It says caramelized, vil huh? caramelized vanilla and macadamia. Like I just want to smell this constantly and I want to smell like this constantly. I want to finish with favorite show and potentially song, but I was just trying to think and I can't really think my favorite song right now. Favorite show right now is Love Island UK. Please let me know your thoughts on your favorite people, your favorite couples after Casa Amor recoupling. That's what I've seen so far. Luca and Gemma are strong. I really enjoy them. I didn't at first. Tash and Andrew, I'm not sure, but like I think they're gonna be end game. Paige and Jax, I love Paige. Jax, enough said. India and Dami, Dami, Mm, has been annoying me these past few episodes like just picking fights with Luca and being like kind of weird and then like throwing so much shade at India when he literally recoupled too. Davide and Ikansu are like low-key my favorite like I think they're underdog I love their banter their back and forth like I really think that they can just like handle each other so well they kind of work which I never would have said at the beginning please like unpack all of your thoughts in the comments like I want to hear it all song I feel like nothing really new that's good has been out. I mean, I've low-key been listening to the Glee soundtrack <laughs> a lot. Dandelions by Ruth B. This version, the slow and reverb version. It just like makes me feel nostalgic listening to it. I have a few Spotify playlists. I have driving vocals, hot girl walks, cleaning with headphones in, and gym pump up, and let's sweat. So I'll link them all below if you're looking for some new playlists. Those are my current favorites. I hope it's brought you a sense of that old YouTube. I hope you enjoyed. This is not the end of the video at all, just the end of the favorites. So now I need to put them all away. Why do I <laughs> look like that? Okay, it is so fucking cold in here. How do I turn it up? <sighs> it's 24. Good. No, no, no. Sorry if I'm so sorry for this footage. <sighs> I feel so much pressure vlogging on someone else's camera. Don't keep any of this in. Soph has just gone down to get our Uber Eats. We've got grilled burgers, chips, sauce. And we're probably going to have some mini bar snacks for dessert because like obviously. We just got back from a comedy show. I don't know if she's told you anything about what we're doing. But we went and saw Luke Kidell, I think is his last name. So we're on TikTok. Very spontaneously, we're like, yeah, he's coming to Bruce. Let's book in. And it was actually so fun. I'm sure Sophie can tell you a bit about it. Anyway, it's been two minutes, so surely Sophie's back soon. I'm starving. Has Sophie told you we're going to London together? London, Paris, Italy, back to London. Is there a peephole? <laughs> you seem starstruck. Hey, I am. I was literally, I couldn't hear you coming, but I was about to come up and look through the peephole and see if you could see it on the camera. Do you want to try? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Not really. I can barely hear you. Order for Georgia? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Joanne, she was so nice. Yeah? She held up and she was like, so good. I was like, yeah. Here you go. I was like, thank you. Have a great night. She was like, you too. I was like, oh. it's so great. <laughs> People doing the bare minimum. I was being like, you're so yeah. nice. Um, can you please like not keep any of my footage in? <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Chips. I'm starving. Literally, it is 9.20 p.m. We haven't had dinner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank yeah. Next. <laughs> The two dips. I'm like a blow. If you're a herbed mayo or a sweet chili mayo, herb is the right answer. In case you're wondering, what's going on? Healthy fried chicken. <laughs> a healthy, <laughs> healthy, healthy obviously. And I got the sun says. The sun says. <laughs> yeah, that looks phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Looks. It looks very tight. <laughs> That's how I like it. Yeah, you are quite tight. <laughs> you're a bit vanilla. <laughs> you're obviously. Why is that tiny? Is it avocado? It's not avocado. It's actually so sad. Are you going for a bite? I'm not even hungry anymore. Oh, uh, like, like that's yeah, why. He wants my drinks to make right there. Yeah, I love that for you. Um, do we want to like watch a movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why did I say it like that? I love a kind of good afternoon. No, we're Monday and Tuesday, so they're already done. <laughs> Just kidding. No one's watching my video. <laughs> Literally, it's like three movies. Or do we want a prank cast? Because then we can like watch whatever. But then we have so what many options. What do you feel like? I mean, make a quick decision. Wait, you need to be like, well, okay. Same movie that you could watch. Three, two, wait. one. <laughs> I have one. Okay, Go. are you ready? Oh, no, we're saying at the same time. Are we? Alright. Three, two, one. Wild job. <laughs> no! Why? I literally just going to say, imagine us saying the same movie, but I didn't want to jinx it. I literally saw a wild child TikTok the other day. I was like, I need to watch that again. <laughs> no, because I didn't see the TikTok. But I was like running through like the classics. I was like, Inga's Thong, mm -hmm. like Parent Trap. I was like, I kind of watched both of those recently. Wild Child, I haven't seen in ages. We're actually the same way. You shake the head. The head <laughs> yeah. Out of respect. <laughs> Is it on something? Um, Netflix? Let me have a geese. Let me have a goose. <laughs> I'm actually so sad about my avocado. Like, it's on the Simon set. <laughs> Yeah, I I see it. Are you being like them putting pickles and no cheese on my burger? I'd be pretty upset. All the ceilings are so bad. <laughs> Is it just wild child or the wild child? I think it's just wild child. I'm kind of annoyed that I didn't get a beverage. Drinks in the fridge. Drink. Bit of a spritz. Now I'm just getting a water bottle. Thumbs up from me. Friendly service, great communication, perfect handoff, delivered with care, quick and efficient. Wow, raving review. Yeah. She deserved it. I did say we went to a comedy show. Oh, okay. So that you, was about it. We very spontaneously and randomly booked this comedy show. Or well, we kind of like, oh, maybe we should stay a night in the city. Yesterday, booked the accommodation here. And I couldn't be happy about it. I cannot believe that we both said Wild Child. Me? Like, out of every movie in the world, we both said Wild Child. So wild of us. Me think so, too. <laughs> Apple Pay. <laughs> Apple Pay makes things too easy. Too easy. So today, a bit of a recap. I went to the gym, trained up the body. As you can see, my shoulders are capped. As you can see, I'm jacked. <laughs> Absolutely ripped. And then I had my first enzyme peel, and it was insane. I'm not sure. If <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if any of you have heard of one. I, I think I'd heard of them, but I never really knew what it was. And it's literally like this hard, well, it like goes on like a normal face mask, and then they do it from like here up. And then it just hardens and tightens and like you can feel it like you can literally feel it contracting on your skin and also you start to feel your pulse like everywhere i got my my arms and hands massaged and i feel like <laughs> <laughs> i always struggle with that word i'm just even kidding i've always been like sorry to make fun of an insecurity <laughs> no but it's always been like massage like how do you say mass massage mass massage like <laughs> why does it sound so weird a massage a massage <laughs> anyway, they, I feel like a hand massage <laughs> is the best feeling ever. I had the choice whether I wanted like feet or hands. Or like, ew! Or like legs and feet and then like hands. I was like, ew, oh, great hands. <laughs> ew, don't touch my feet. But also, have you had a pedicure? <laughs> <laughs> so far. I think I'm just so hungry. <laughs> I love it. I ha have had a pedicure, yes. Did it tickle you? Yeah, every time I'm like on the verge of kicking her <laughs> in the face. <laughs> 
Like oh. massaging and then like it's scraping. It's the brush yes. in the middle of right. in the arch of your foot. Yes. I'm like, I'm ready. I'm ready. Are you ready for this? I want to talk through my outfit because I'm quite a fan of it if I'm completely honest. It's it's new. It's, <laughs> it's, it's new. Thanks for asking. It's new. I'm just going to take this. <laughs> oh gosh, that's so <laughs> slick. Um. <laughs> I'll be really quick. Shoes. Glasses. I did a massive glasses order the other day and I'm quite impressed with it all. Pants, glasses, they're like kind of V-cut and then flared. Stunning. Turtleneck is also glasses and then blazer is motel rocks. Oh, because you don't strike me as a burger gal. I know, but grill just hits different. Can we try schnitz? I love schnitz. Alright. Oh, schnitz chips. Yeah. Oh, they're literally the best. They were gonna hate me in your bed. Put them far away. <laughs> Oh my god. Mm. I just put eating in bed then you feel like literally live a little. Yeah. I think you say leave. I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hate us. We're so funny. <laughs> We're starting movie at quarter to ten. We're literally crazy. <laughs> feel like falling asleep watching a laptop? Oh, I'll leave. Yeah. <gasps> the start of this movie is so funny. Shut up and drive.